Hello citizens, I'm Swiss Milk, and this is a really quick tutorial on how to get Star Citizen working with your SLI or Crossfire configuration with no artifacts. There aren't that many steps, and once you get it working, you'll be able to enjoy Star Citizen with your setup without any artifacts. So the first step is to go into Catalyst Control Center, or whatever the equivalent is for NVIDIA, and you want to create a profile for Star Citizen. Uh, there's not much that you have to worry about in this profile. The important things is that you're using application settings for all of your options and that you have frame pacing and uh, vertical synchronization on. Those are the two most important things. Next, when you have that done, boot up your game. And I just have mine here in windowed mode to make things convenient for us. If you're experiencing artifacts, you'll be able to see them very quick by typing in system, SYS, under max FPS, and then set it to zero. That'll just set max FPS to limitless. You should have artifacts uh, going everywhere by now. Since I'm in windowed mode, I don't experience them for some reason, uh, and that might work for you too. But hey, let's, uh, let's get this to work in full screen. So the next thing you want to do is set it down to 60. Now, if you're still seeing artifacts at this point, then you're going to want to lower down one by one. I tend to go by fives and find what your sweet spot is. For me, in uh, full screen mode, it happens to be 30. It might be higher, it might be lower depending on your settings. But as soon as you find out what that sweet spot is, where you don't get artifacts in the hangar, or most importantly, when you're playing multiplayer, get that number and record it down. And then we're going to go and make that permanent. And you'll do that by going into your library for Star Citizen. And you're going to want to go into your Star Citizen client. And then you're going to want to go to system.cfg. In system.cfg, you'll see system max FPS. Set that to whatever your sweet spot value is. And as you can see, mine is a 30. And then you'll just want to save that and you're good to go. You should be able to boot up into Star Citizen after shutting down and restarting the game and experiencing no artifacts. And that's all it takes. If you want a more advanced method of solving this problem where you might be able to get some more FPS, then you can check out the link I put in the description, which uh, links to Elrond's post, who made, made a really great post on the forums detailing this uh, problem. And there's some applications you can use, like Radeon Pro, that will help you get the most out of your system. And uh, that's also a free program. So go ahead and check it out. Thank Elron on the forums and uh, throw me a like or subscription if you found this helpful. This is Swiss Milk signing off.